Well, this is an interesting development. This is not good. God damn it, dude. Do you think maybe it's just vacationing, though? No, Charlie, there's blocks in front and back of his tires. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, this guy's planted himself here. And I tell you what, once all the other RV folks see what this RV guy's doing, they're gonna start parking their RVs on our street. Shit. And we're gonna be staring down the barrel of a shantytown situation. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Who just takes their vehicle and parks in someone's, you know, street and says, this is my street? I'm gonna live here now because I'm poor. I'll tell you who, new poor. What? Ever since the recession hit, waves of new people are suddenly broke. These people have no idea how to live without money. They're what's called new poor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We're old poor. Yeah, they could stand to learn a lesson or two from us because we would never take our homelessness and shove it down everybody's face. Oh, have right. some class if you're gonna be poor. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Send him a message. Let's do it. All right, let's, let's slash his tires. Yeah, well, not uh, that, though, because then he can't leave. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, you start putting plans under microscopes, and nothing's gonna make sense, all right? Lots That's... of things make sense. Slashing someone's tires so that they leave makes no sense, You're gonna Charlie. put everything I say under a microscope, bud? Yeah, it's a stupid idea, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry, you have a better plan? D, sharpest item in the bar. I need it. Now, let's go. 